on the mic with Mike, ESPN Richmond 106.1. This is part of the Mike King Biz Radio Network. Uh, that is ESPN Richmond 106.1, the choice 105.3 every day from 2 to 3, as well as International Business Group Radio here with Leslie from the Better Business Bureau. We are back again, ma'am. Welcome back to the program. Well, thanks for having us on so today. So we always talk about the Better Business Bureau accredited businesses. It is a trust factor that, that we understand when mm-hmm. people are working with you guys. Today, you had a very big day. Yes, we did. Okay. It was a busy and morning. <laughs> it's something that we all hear about crypto, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and all the things. And it's a gray, murky area that a lot of people. But one of the things at the Better Business Bureau is you guys are always on the forefront of letting people know what's happening. Explain what you guys did today and how that's important to the well, what we do, and one of another job that I have here, Mike, is to create monthly workshops or webinars, okay, that would be of interest to to mostly our businesses, okay, because mm-hmm. we're always wanting to make sure that our businesses are up to date, have the latest information and things like that. So uh, I came up with the whole schedule for the year, and this cryptocurrency, or as they say, as our FBI guy told us today, it's virtual currencies. And virtual. Virtual currencies and cryptocurrencies, and they're not exactly the same. They're similar. So there's just so many little details about this. But so at any rate, we ended up uh, having close to 70 people from all over the country uh, join us for a webinar this morning. We had a fabulous guest. Um, His name, uh, he's a detective with the Henrico County Police, also with the FBI Cyber Task Force. And he deals with all the the virtual currencies. So I've been working with him. We've had a discussion over the month, came together with a fabulous PowerPoint. And so this morning was the day. And it it was kind of like cryptocurrency or virtual currency 101. What is it? You know, is it the Wild West? Is it legal? It What's a like Bitcoin? The, What's it? It the, seems like the Wild Wild West. It does. And as much as I sat there, I was interviewing him. I had lots and lots of questions. We had lots of questions from our guests, but I still understand enough to be dangerous. I don't know. I, I just, maybe it's my head. I can't seem to get around that, that I, I'm, we're so used to here's a dollar bill. I get a dollar bill versus it's you're some- purchasing a virtual currency that's online. It's not, it's also not um, backed like, you know, FDIC with our banking system so there's a lot of risk but there's also potential great gains so what are some of the things that the better business bureau uh has out there to help business owners i know you guys have Uh, we've got uh, we're just a host of resources mike and again again my office i'm constantly getting information we're a part of the whole bbb network okay Okay. you have the uh, the international association of bbbs then there's about a hundred different bureaus throughout the country north america canada mexico we are central virginia okay so what we again try to do is make sure that all that information is affecting our businesses in the central virginia uh, area so what we do we'll survey them what would you like to see what do you need um we're constantly here's one coming up uh, on june 8th that barry's going to be doing with one of our businesses about um you know how to the secrets to increasing individual performance and winning as a team we're always trying to build better businesses we've done webinars on how to find and hire the best employees we know that that is is which is a hot topic now huge huge and in fact we've recently bbb has entered into an arrangement with a company that's going to help facilitate you know help our businesses find um employees so we're always looking for different strategic partnerships to work with to get that business more resources for our businesses you know. Because it's uh, on the mic, Mike ESPN Richmond, the choice 105.3 here with Leslie with all the great information. You can you can start the week off with us on Monday, 5 a.m. <clears throat> here on ESPN Richmond. That is the time when a better business bureau, they kick off the week. So we're here talking not just crypto, not just virtual, but a lot of things that support and help a business thrive. These are things that a person may not automatically think of about the Better Business Bureau. No. It just automatically, it is, there's a complaint that's out there and the Better Business Bureau does something. 
Right, right. A lot of people, then they think of us as the scam and fraud people because they'll see us on television a lot, radio, TV, constantly about scams and frauds because we want to make sure consumers and our partners in the media are getting that important information out to protect consumers, okay? There's a lot of businesses that need to be, uh, you know, careful as well. You can't believe the amount of scams and, and, and frauds that happen to businesses as well. So, but with that, Mike, we're also wanting to help our businesses become a better business, okay? So we're always trying to come up with wonderful ideas, workshops, we have, uh, we have events. Uh, we just, you know, each month, I'll tell you another thing we do. We go out into the community quite a bit. Um, I have done uh, an enormous amount of work in the community with the elderly. Uh, we work with law enforcement. We work with the triad and the salt groups, law enforcement throughout our area to make sure that what they're communicating, where there's clear communication. They'll say, hey, Leslie, can you make sure that this gets in your newsletter? We're doing this. Or, so we're always sharing information. I will let them know if there's any scams or frauds that they need to, that we're seeing over here through our scam tracker. Maybe there's a pattern, you see? So we're able to, we're kind of a great conduit for communicating all this information. As we're coming out of COVID, what's something that you hear from businesses that they need more now than, than they said it's ever been? I would say employees. I'm, I, I, we're just hearing so much about trying to find not just an employee, but a good employee, somebody that's going to buy into your company, want to stay a little bit, have some loyalty. How do you keep them too? That is a point. How do you retain? <clears throat> if, if you have business, if you're business and you're short of workers, how do you not work the workers who are staying into the ground to force them to leave? Right. How do you keep them positive? Because through the time, um, and those are some of the things that the Better Business Bureau is able to help businesses with, understanding the value of an employee, how to engage your workers. Those are things that I don't think that people think about the Better Business Bureau. Well, as I said, here's here's on, on June 8th. Look, you know, I mean, employee and team performance training sessions. We're here to help businesses with their time management. Barry's always saying, please let me come over to your business. I'll help you with this, that, and the other. We are here for our businesses. And you also have money to sell this place we do. Right here. So you have it open so people can use the facility here and you want to showcase, you want it to be a part of the community. Yes, we do. Almost like an open business center, if you will. Um, I don't know if you've seen Mike, but we've got a, a, tr a facility on the other well, yeah, side like where the training the training that well, I mean it's state of the art it is that's where we did our workshop this morning we've got overheads we've got we've got a corporate um, um, uh, boardroom that's fabulous that, that is nice so that's open to our businesses or to the community for a stipend it's not much because you guys are a nonprofit, which always correct it throws people off because you're not out there to make a buck. No, no. You know, it's interesting too, Mike, a lot of people seem to think that we're part of the government. For sure. And we're not. No, uh, and I think that's one thing. And so Barry's out there, he's like the Pied Piper. He of, is. <laughs> of letting people know about that the BBB is not, it is a nonprofit and that it operates differently with the whole premise of you are there to just help business. Absolutely. That is our, uh, that's our priority. And the value of being an accredited business. Absolutely. That's a big deal. Well, it is. And as I said, I always tell folks when you're getting ready to do business, do a quick search. I mean, my gosh, it'll save you a lot in the long, be, in the long run. And just, you can simply go to bbb.org, put the name of the business in that you're thinking about ordering from or, and see what's listed on that business. Because you guys have accredited businesses and that's- a, We do so profiles on other businesses that aren't accredited. Hmm. Yeah. So you so can- you're read. giving them a fair shake. You're, Absolutely. You're fair shake. You were mm -hmm. telling people, this is what's happening in the marketplace. Correct. And, and people and consumers can read, oh my God, look at the amount of complaints. Look, they've got a one point, you know, uh, um, they've had some issues. They've had some issues. I tell a lot of folks, it's interesting, read the complaints. Read the reviews and the complaints. 
you, you get a real eyeful and then see how the business is responding. You can really tell a lot we about them there. We do a lot more with, with reviews now than we did in the past. Reviews are huge, but can you trust those reviews? And that's where we come to, the better business. Bureau. We make sure that we've looked at all the reviews, correct? And that they are accurate and legitimate. Because sometimes they are not. There are companies out there, it's a pay to play. Mike, you know, here, a little of this, and we'll make sure that those good positive reviews get up to the top. Not saying that that happens all the time, but there are those it, businesses. It, it happens. There's a lot of pay to play out there's, there. There's a lot of foolishness and shenanigans. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, and indeed. And that's one of the reasons why you guys, it's not just joining and becoming a member. You guys are, you guys are not out there willy nilly handing out those three initials. No. No, you know, it's interesting. Um, well, often I work a lot with the operations and, and uh, they'll come to me and say, you know, Leslie, you're starting to see a pattern. That's, you know, our, our folks are, are well educated into how to research these companies. And with our scam tracker, we can start noticing. Hold on, I said, what's a scam tracker? Scam tracker is where, what you can do is you just go in, BBB scam tracker, okay? You put in your zip code. You all of a sudden, it'll come out all the different scams and alerts that are happening in your area. It's very interesting. Okay. You can also I'm put sure the name of the business. Or shocked when they look at that. When they look at the scam tracker. Well, when you see the type of scams. <laughs> There's so many. You know, where was it? I was talking with um, well, the the FBI guy this morning. You know, believe it or not, romance scams are huge. I believe it. Romance scams and all the cryptocurrency. We were talking about that. But really, the number one, what do you think is the number one um, scam out there? I think people are going after old people. I think that the home improvements may be number one. A lot. Now, interesting. Um, BBB does a scam tracker risk report. It just came out. And contrary to popular belief, it's the younger generation now that's getting scammed. <laughs> they always thought it was the elderly. It was us. It's yeah. A, I, but I the 24 to, th I think it's the 18 to 34. Or, getting yeah. scammed. Are getting because they're online a lot more, okay? And they believe everything, you know. They don't have that wisdom that no. maybe some of us in our. Uh, yeah, I got a few miles off. <laughs> a you know, miles. Everything is that you know. It was on the internet, right? So it had to be true. Yeah. No. So we see patterns, and they'll bring it to our attention, saying, "Ooh, like we released one not too long ago about a particular company, an online company." That was using a local, this is what we see a lot of local P.O. box as their business. And people were having problems and they couldn't get their products and the money wasn't coming back and blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know is you see these patterns and then we're able to issue alerts, let the whole system know, and then start working with media. So it's so that is I remember a while back the Better Business Bureau were letting people it was a scam about either sneakers or clothing. Yep. And it we, had to do with Henrico. Yeah. At the end. So now even now, I'm just a regular guy. This isn't because the radio show, this is I remember seeing it on TV. Yeah. Explain the power of the media when you guys can shine a light on some foolishness that's going on because people are getting scammed out of their money. And sometimes even when it's the, you know, the romance scam, it's money plus your heart. When you find that people oftentimes, especially the elderly Mike are so, well, I should say all ages really, you're so embarrassed. You know, yeah. the elderly, especially because they're afraid to tell their children that like, you know, they, they were taken in an investment scam or a romance scam. They're afraid that their children are going to tell them, uh, you know, you're, 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 you're losing, losing it. it. You can't, you can't take care of your money anymore. We're going to have to, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. And so, yeah, it's, um, you know, our media partners are invaluable because, I'm able to get on the phone and having been in the media for so many years, I understand the understand lingo. Again. Yeah. And I'd call, you know, I'll call a reporter, some of that we have them at all the different TV stations. And then they also will receive our press releases. And oftentimes we'll get calls and we're able to uh, make a comment about it. And we just try to protect our, our uh, you know, consumers. So the, the scam alert is there. You So check businesses online, whether they're accredited, the better business bureau, puts it out there in the marketplace. You check on your own. Uh, well, that, but also you can sign up for scam alerts, which is great. You can sign up for our newsletter, which is chock filled with information. Um, anything that the consumers would like to be a part of, I mean, all they have to do is call us. 
Calls. I'm going to talk to that girl, Leslie. She says she has some resources for me. She got some resources. Everybody here at BBB has got some resources. We've got study after study. That's what IBBB does. A great job of, uh, and then coming up with these wonderful sheets, you know, these one-liners, how to avoid online purchase scams, the do's and the don'ts. Make sure it's interesting. Little things like, you know, so many people now are online, right? Everybody. We saw that with COVID. Yes. And so with all the people online, sure, you're going to get, where do you think the scammers are going to be hanging out? They're online. <laughs> you bet. And there's ones like the, and it breaks your heart when you hear the story, a person rents a house <sighs> that's just, not theirs. We just dealt with that, Mike, two weeks ago. Got a call from a reporter and that's what they do. All of a sudden this house had actually been sold. It had been sold and people start showing up thinking that they're going to pick up the keys to rent it. Yeah, this happened. The poor person had to put a note. This house has been sold. It's ours. But this is because they knock off websites. There's all sorts of little tricks. We, we'll have to do that again sometimes. Teach you how to like do a reverse image search. That is that's something there because a lot of times you're a lot of times when things happen, you have to do some of your own homework. You have to you, be you have to be, you know, Inspector Clouseau. You do. And you can't trust one one thing that these con artists love to do is make it make you make a decision a hasty quick decision quick 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 you've got to you know buy today or else it's not going to be there and i always urge folks take a deep breath step back if if that offer is that good it's going to be there tomorrow see they want you to make a quick hasty decision emotional yes and a lot of, you've seen people they've had offers like I said to Barry when I said last week, a person want, was going to get their driveway done. Uh, you know, four hundred dollars turns into yeah thousands. Yeah, uh, the door to door. This is the time of the year. You know, uh, people are doing a lot of home improvement projects, and we'll t just little things like so. Somebody comes to your door and they knock, and they want to. And I noticed that uh, your you know uh, shingles are flying off. I just happen to have some extras here. We did. We did a job right down the street for one of your neighbors. You get a lot of those, right? And that's where you can just, uh, are you licensed? You start asking. They don't you start ask. asking questions. You look at their truck. Hmm, where's the license plate? Is there a logo on the truck? Who are they with? Did you know that in the state of Virginia, if you do any home improvement um, jobs over $1,000, you've got to have a license. To see little things like that, they're not ready You've got to ask questions. You, and the Better Business Bureau is the place with answers and accredited businesses. Yes, and trust. And trust. So trust. it's not that sort of trust is for everyone, but you also have to help the business owner. Because business owners a lot of times head down, putting out fires, but they don't see what's coming. They don't. They don't see what's coming. And everyone thinks my business is so different from everyone else. No. It's not like any other business out here. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it uh, takes a lot these days to keep your doors open, to keep your employees happy, to continue to create a good product. Um, you know, just different times these days, Mike. There you go, Leslie. It's been a pleasure. On the mic and bike, we are here at Better Business Bureau, 5 a.m. We kick off the week with, with the good folks here. Uh, you really should come not just with the BBB, but also come out to the facility. So if you ever need a place to come to, this is a community gem right here in, uh, in is it Innsbruck? No, is, this is, is considered uh, East Shore. East Shore. We're over near the Twin Hickory, Glen Allen area, right near the Publix, right in there. Right it's a beautiful, we have a pond in the back. I know. With a lot of ducks right now. There you go. So you guys are living it up. <laughs> we are. All right, on the mic with Mike Leslie's here. We got to run, as I always say. The microphone ain't free, plus my grandkids need stuff. So, uh, yeah. So uh, make sure you take a listen to our sponsors and advertisers. They help us stay on the air. We'll talk to you soon.